People with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities lead often foreshortened lives through bodies with multiple physical and sensory impairments and minds complicated by profound intellectual disability. They often experience co-occurring mental and physical health complaints. In the past, research has been done on, and latterly for, people with intellectual disabilities. The inclusive research community, heralding the disability rights movement's cry of nothing about us without us, has pushed for research to be done with and by people with intellectual disabilities, and has travelled far down this road. I'm attempting in my work to take another step along that road and find a methodology for doing research with people with profound intellectual and multiple disabilities who have, until this point, been noted as the missing voices of inclusive research. To do this, I borrow understandings from decolonisation scholars who highlight the importance of recognising the foundations of our knowing. I seek to begin my work not from a place of inclusion, a mere fact of presence, but from one of belonging, a space in which inclusion is not only functionally realised but is felt. I refer to this space as being with, though the simplicity of those words does little to capture the profound nature of the experience. Being with is fundamentally felt, not thought, so I will always struggle to capture it in words, but perhaps you witness it in my pictures. Our research encounters begin when we have located a space of being with, and once in that space we work together to research embodied identity. The space can be hard to find, I use Merleau-Ponty's ideas of intention to help me find my way there. I question where their intention lies. I place my intention in the same place, and in doing this I create the possibility of being with. With Senan, I found her intention in the small area around her mouth, and when I joined her there, I encountered being with. With Felicity, it took me much longer, and I often wondered whether I would be able to meet her. And then one day, as you can see from these images, I found her where she'd been waiting all along. This is Felicity. If you look for Felicity in her face, in her expression, you may not find her. But that's because Felicity is in her fingers. And if you look for her there, you find Felicity is a dancer. And if you dance with her, you experience her meaning more deeply through being with her in this way. Felicity even dances through procedures such as this one because Felicity is a dancer. 